What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, we are going to be inside the Crown Vic all throughout this video um, because I'm going to be telling you guys what to upgrade when you guys get a Crown Vic because when you guys do get a Crown Vic especially and specifically the police and septa models, you guys will not have any of this and you most likely won't even have you know a nice updated radio. So we're going to get to that in a minute but before I do, I just want to say if you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are watching, please hit that subscribe button. We are so, so, so close to a thousand. I want to see that subscriber count go all the way up. Hopefully by the end of next week we can hit 1,000. We can do a video special. Um, as I mentioned before in other videos, if you guys have a video suggestion for my 1,000 video special, let me know down below. Um, I'm probably going to have a video out today, tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. So you guys are probably going to get four or three video uploads around there. Um, today I'm doing this video. My package actually came in, my collectible package that I uh, teased. I'm going to play a clip of that right now. Two thousand ten CHP uh, diecast model car. I'm not going to go into detail about it now because I was actually going to do that video today, the unboxing of it, and then push this video back. But I decided I'm going to upgrade it, um, put like little uh, customized things, like little mini antennas and stuff, to it, and then uh, I'll upload that video probably on Monday. Um, kind of do like a progression. I'll do the unboxing of it, a review, and then um, the little details I've added to it myself. And then tomorrow we're going to a car meet, so I'm going to film that. And then Sunday I'm going into the city with my buddy from work, and we're going to just vlog around in the city. Uh, maybe I'll get some police cars responding, see if we can get some in-service VIX and stuff like that. Okay, so when you guys do buy your Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, it is not going to look anything like this inside. Some people have tan interior, some people have the black interior. Other than that, there's really not other much options. Uh, the Crown Vic basically stood the same all the way from 1999 to 2010. With a little tweaks here and there to the interior, like the steering wheel, I think they changed in 2006, if I'm not mistaken. The steering wheel changed uh, to this model. Um, and But pretty much the Crown Vic stood the same. I mean, the dial changed as well. Mine is digital. If you have the older Crown Vics, you might have just like the tax. Mine is digital, but um, I mean little stuff like that, but when you guys do buy a Crown Vic, especially an old cop car, an ex-cop car, the police interceptor, most people that resell them, they will not put, you know, the aftermarket radios in it. They will not put this in it. When I bought my Crown Vic, none of this stuff was in it. I didn't have the center console. I didn't have this, you know, I didn't have any of that. Um, surprisingly enough, my radio did come with my car, um, so whoever bought this car, uh, I think I was the third owner, so whoever had it before me bought this and installed it. But I'm going to show you guys a picture of what a um, police interceptor looks like when, you know, it's basically just being sold to you as is. So that's basically what it looks like. As you guys see, no center console. This one isn't bolted down, so if I really wanted to, I could just push it back. Just to kind of give you guys um, an idea, that's basically what it's going to look like. You guys are just going to have a big you know, trench basically over here. So I'm gonna be telling you guys where to buy the center console, where to buy this stand, cause a lot of you guys, let me turn off my notifications here. Cause a lot of you guys have been asking that, but I'm also gonna be telling you guys little things you guys can do to the interior of your Crown Vic to make it pop. So first off, we're gonna start with this center console. This is probably the most uh, requested thing I get. Where did you buy it? I want one of those. Almost every single Crown Vic owner I know has one of these. And luckily for you guys, they are cheap easy to find and um, there's plenty of them and it's universal so you guys can put it in it's most likely going to fit um, see I bought this at AutoZone for $40 um, they come in all black and they come in the two-tone black and gray as you guys see here this is the one I have it's got four cup holders two here two in the back it's also got a lock box where you guys can put your uh, you know whatever you want it's kind of a cheap lock box that's why I put my CB here for show because it's just so cheap anyway, but it does give you quite a bit of storage I got a lot of stuff in there. It also does come with a set of keys as well um, So you guys can lock it and unlock it put your valuables in there even though I wouldn't recommend it because like I said again It's very very cheap um, But yeah about $50 $40 depending on where you buy it you guys pretty cool like it's again 40 bucks It's it's definitely worth it in the back here. You also have uh, more storage back here for passengers uh, you got a little whatever you want to call this more space over here you got stuff for your change so it's very very useful definitely worth it especially for a crown vic you got a lot of stuff in it it's definitely worth it so when you add all this plus those two cup holders you have a total of six freaking cup holders in this car enough for a whole freaking party 
Man, I'm sweating here. So I will try to find the link for the AutoZone um, version of this because that's where I bought it. I don't know where it is online. Um, it's just a universal center console for a Crown Vic. If you guys search it up, it'll come up. Like I said, again, it comes in all black or gray and black. The reason why I got gray and black is, as you guys can see, it matches my seat. Kind of to give the Crown Vic a two-tone, kind of make the interior pop a little bit more. Like I said, again, because the Crown Vic interior is kind of dull. Um, but some people like it like this. Some people don't. Some people like to add a little bit of stuff. So that's why I'm here today. Also, the next most requested thing is this right here. This is a iPad slash iPhone slash iPod slash whatever mobile device thing you want to call it. So it's basically universal as well. You, as you see, my phone's a little bit too big. All you got to do is press down on a little bit. The mechanism will pop down and you guys can fit it in snug. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall off. This was about $35. I bought this on eBay. It's called Charger City. Um, it's very useful when I'm going for long drives and stuff um, when you know I want to edit or when you know I want to change a song or something It's a lot easier when I'm driving for example to just go like this and switch it instead of reaching all the way over and switching it up here so Definitely worth it. Um, it is fully adjustable as well. You guys can adjust it to go up Down you guys can hide it all the way down like that pick it all the way up It also does pivot all you got to do is unscrew it. You guys can pivot it to whatever desire you want. And it is universal as well, so you guys can put it into any cup holder. If I wanted to, I could put it in that one, even though it probably wouldn't be a very good idea. Any cup holder is universal. You just pop it in the cup holder, and then you will tighten it, whatever suits you guys. There you go. Tighten it up, and it is good to go. I wouldn't recommend putting a computer on it. Um, some people said flatten it out like this and put the computer on it. It's kind of flimsy to do that, so I would just recommend for phones and smaller devices these also come off as well if your device is too too big and it doesn't fit and you just kind of want to rest it like that you can do that as well so it is pretty cool I'll try to find a link to this as well um, but if you guys just want to look it up yourselves it's called Charger City right there about $35 right there so this setup right here if you guys were to buy this you're looking at $50 40 $50 for this and another 30 so around that is already under a hundred bucks and you're already giving your Vic style points all right, guys, so the next biggest thing, aside from the center console, um, is the radio. When you guys get a Crown Vic, your radio will most likely look like this. <laughs> that is the stock radio that comes with Crown Vics, that comes with CVPIs. Um, I was lucky enough to actually... I was lucky enough to actually get one of these when I bought mine. It already came with it. It is a JVC. Uh, KD, whatever. I'll try to look it up and put the link down below if you guys want to buy this specific model. It comes with a um, little remote control, so if you're driving, you don't have to reach over. You can kind of just have the remote control in your hand and um, change the volume, the station, Bluetooth. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much it is, like I said again, because it did come with my car. I was lucky enough for that. But it does have Bluetooth. It does have a USB charger right there. Um, it's a pretty cool little radio. I mean, if my guess would probably be closer to a hundred dollars, maybe like eighty something dollars, but I'm not sure. It also has um, whatever this is. Apparently, you can call or whatever through Bluetooth. I'm guessing. So it's pretty cool. It also has Pandora, iHeartRadio, stuff like that. Stuff I don't really, you know, use. I do use Pandora, but it's all through my phone, Bluetooth, which is cool. It also has an aux cord as well. Something that I think everybody uses nowadays is the aux cord, but um. Yeah, so like I said again, I was lucky enough to um, have this radio already in my car um, when I did buy it. I didn't have the old clunky one because I actually was worried. No, going into a Crown Vic, I was already looking into radios. I was like, all right, this is the one I'm going to buy, blah, blah, blah. But mine came with one, like I said again, so I was lucky on that. I got, uh, I got away with that one. But I also did um, put some Velcro here. If you guys do want to get the same model, what I would suggest, put some Velcro and then put the... Um, the radio control the controller over here it actually looks pretty cool uh, i like it there i did have it just lying around and i decided you know why not stick it over there so it's out of the way it'll always be there i don't have to worry about losing it and stuff like that okay, guys now the next thing is probably what's going to make your interior pop the most um this is more so if you have the darker interior the dark black interior not so much the tan interior as you guys can see there's this strip right here that runs along the dash all the way across over here as well the strip and also over here it kind of goes along with it that strip right here as well and as well as on the back 
this strip. I think, yes, it would be this strip right here where the, uh, the handle is. Now, they are very easy to take out and they are very easy to customize to make your interior pop. And I'm gonna tell you guys how in a minute. Now, I mentioned this in my last video that I was gonna go to AutoZone and buy the, um, it's like a tape that you put over it to, uh, it's like interior tape, basically. Um, but I was Photoshopping, I was messing around, I'm still not sure on what a color to do, but I've seen a lot of Crown Vic owners do this, and they'll either take everything apart and paint it, or they'll just get the tape at AutoZone, and they'll put tape on here, whether it be gray, white, or whatever on the places that I mentioned and it really makes the Vic the inside of the Vic pop believe it or not you know just adding a little bit of for example if I wanted to do gray add all this would be gray this would be gray etc gray gray and it would not only match my seats but it would match my center console and it would kind of color coordinate as well so it's not all just black you know you're not all just looking at you know black you know facial or you know a black dash um, some people like it like that like again again like I said again they like it stealthy like it to stay dark I like it as well but adding a little bit of color isn't gonna you know make it you know so dramatically change like oh my gosh it's it's light in here now and it's not gonna do that but some people even do uh, these they'll color coordinate these they'll even go with white like the outside of my car is white so they'll do um, the pieces that I mentioned white and it actually looks really really cool but I was thinking of doing gray only for the sole fact that, like I said again, my seats and my console are gray, and I think it would really, really look good. So this weekend, I'll test it out, see how it looks like. Obviously, I'll implement it in the video. All right, guys, so you guys already seen this in my other video, my last video, but also another way you guys can uh, give your Vic some style points, upgrade your interior, is LED strip lights as well. As you guys can see, I installed these. I bought these at AutoZone. They're 24 inches, I believe. Um, so they're definitely long enough to go from uh, from one side of your uh, your steering column all the way to the other. Um, they're very, very easy to install. You can cut them as well, like I mentioned in my last video. So if they're too long or they're too bright, you can just cut them down to your needs. Um, and easy install, like I said, again, they look really, really cool. If you guys didn't see my last video on them, I'm going to play a night clip right now of what they look like at night. Look at that, guys. Lights it up quite a bit and it's really really cool because it actually matches this blue on my radio so yeah basically that's what they look like at night wicked wicked cool they definitely give your victim style points i went with blue in number one because blue is my favorite color but also um blue does match my radio as you guys saw during the night clip my radio is blue now my lights are blue and this right here which are for my fog lights when you flick that on that'll emit a blue light as well uh, when they're on which is really cool so that's kind of color coordinating the way that I like to. I like to do it that way with the lights. So you have the blue radio, the blue LEDs on the bottom, and also if I do ever have my fog lights on, that'll light up blue as well. So it's just little things like that that give your Vic style points that'll make it pop a lot more. And you know, you guys may not believe it at first, but trust me, it will. Adding little details like this makes your Vic's interior just pop so much more. Like the lights that I installed, the LEDs, it just makes the Vic's interior pop so much more. I'm just trying to find ways to make the Vic pop a little bit because it is very dull, you know. The Vic basically, you know, if you look at a 2010 Crown Vic, which is mine, and then like a 2010, you know, I don't know, um, uh, Impala, for example, um, you know, the interior is going to be much different, you know, the, the Impala is going to have a much, you know, modern interior. So these are just little tips and tricks that you guys can do to make the interior of your Vic pop. Also. Uh, I probably forgot this because this is just so common, is a steering wheel cover. I, I do like it like that. I also added um, the mount for my GoPro so when I'm driving long distances, dash cam, uh, so I can have a dash cam. But I am going to eventually get a real dash cam so it can stay here all the time um, because I do film with my GoPro so I can't have it there all the time. That's another thing you can add to your style points, have a dash cam. Um, I got the dome light with LEDs. They have LEDs and a mine came stock with them. Some people don't. But if you guys do want LEDs, they're fairly, fairly simple to find. But yeah, those are just little things to um, give some style points to your Vic. Right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, this will be in the link down below. Like I said again, this will be down in the link. I'll try to find the radio. Obviously, some people like to get touch screens and stuff like that. Um, so I'll try to find a dimension size for you. So if you guys want to do that, so that'll be in the description. Or I'll just put it up on screen now. Um, my PA system, this, a lot of people ask me before I go, they always ask me, hey Notorious, is this hooked up? Why do you have a CB? It's not hooked up, guys. It's just for show. I just slip it right on there. It's more purposely just for my horn, just to hold my horn. 
just to hold my horn. Um, that will also be in the link down below if you guys want this. Uh, I do advise if you guys do end up getting this like I did, deprogram the sirens so you just have the horn, um, which is legal in my state. It's just another horn and the PA system, obviously. Um, but yeah, so all that will be down below. Um, the AutoZone tried to get the tape to put it on in this video, but they didn't have it. And um, so they have it at other stores, they said, but I didn't really want to drive around today because I already did a lot of driving around. But maybe um, in future video, I'll have that. I'll do an install video on that and everything like that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. It's delicious.